And a warm welcome on what is a fine day for football. I'm delighted to be able to report. My name is Derek Ray, excited to be bringing you match commentary. And alongside me, my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Brentford against Leicester City. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Number three, Rico Henry. Number six, Christian Nogard. Number eight, Matthias Jensen. And here's the starting 11 for Brentford. Well, on paper, it looks a fairly cautious approach because unless their wing-backs can get into more advanced areas, I'm not sure where the attacking width will come from. Well, here's how Leicester City will line up. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough for the ball, it's a very attacking line-up. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated and it could be difficult for them. Thank you, enjoy the game. It could be a fascinating head-to-head -head confrontation, this. And Leicester City get the proceedings underway. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. Now, defending always has to be a team effort. Good piece of covering. Henry. Dewsbury Hall. Madison with it. And Ian Acho has it. Textbook defending inside the box. And that will be a corner. And the short option preferred. Well, there's something wonderfully artistic about James Madison and his overall game. Stuart, what part might he play in this match? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. Really a very poor ball. Dewsbury Hall. Leicester now in a potentially dangerous position. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Jensen. An incisive pass. And saved by the keeper. so close to getting that early goal there but it was a wonderful save by the keeper you have to say well on the back of that breathtaking piece of goalkeeping can they keep the ball and create Madison can he give them the lead and there it is an almost intuitive piece of finishing Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see, but unfortunately, it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. And back underway. 1-0 it is. Bermo 
He read the situation defensively and did his job. Harvey Barnes. Kieran Dewsbury Hall. Oh, breezing past him. Well, a powerful effort, but he couldn't quite keep the shot down. Went in strongly, decisively. Leicester showing good width here. Options in the middle. Iannaccio. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. He has teammates around him. A gift for any goalkeeper. James Madison. This attack looks highly promising. Harvey Barnes. Now will the cross work out for them? Has a go. Tremendous block. And he's beaten him here. But a good piece of tidying up. Mbermo. This could level it. Pivotal moment defensively. Well, no stopping him. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Harvey Barnes. Iannaccio. And giving it away. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. Mbermo. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Could be. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Mbermo. Gives it a go. And it's a goal. Level again. What a match this is turning out to be! So underway again here on the back of that leveller. And a chance for him on the flank. He's got to score! Well, capable of so much better, to be honest. Well, I expected more as well, Derek. I thought from that sort of position, he had every chance of scoring, but it's a poor effort.
Harvey Barnes are there to intercept. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I really liked his first half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field. And I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Barnes. Now Iannaccio. Wanted to keep it but couldn't. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. Excellent defending. Could be a chance to break here. Delightful pass. Harvey Barnes. Just the challenge that was required. Well, now he's let that run out of play, and it will be a throw in here. Will he play it in? Madison. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. James Madison and it's a quality pass and overcame the ball from the flank but dealt with in the end Ivan Tony, a very effective challenge put in Harvey Barnes Christiansen the Foxes moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Takes aim! And what a magical save it was! <laughs> well, they fancy a short one. Corner again. Now sending it in, struggling to get it away. No way through. Tony. Roroslev. Can they create something from here? Crossing possibilities. Comfortable in dealing with the cross. So after that, a goal kick it'll be. Oh, goalkeeper blunder. Well, after that mishap, the keeper can now exhale. Well, the hand goes up apologetically. That was a real lapse in concentration there. And Leicester with the ball again. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. Well, they've decided to make a change. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life.
Trying to pick out a teammate. And still dangerous. And a fine stop. He's driven in the corner. Not all that convincing defensively. Is open after today's game. And a time for calm on the ball. For the next game, or club merchandise. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender's just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. Just 20 minutes remaining now. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Iheanacho. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Well, there it is. The hosts haven't had that much of the ball, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. Just the challenge that was required. Breaking at pace. Well, that is how to break up a counter-attack. Well, great read there to intercept. Henry. Here's Nurgard. I don't think he'll be proud of that challenge. And it's left to the referee to decide what happens next. And who knows, that might be the end of the story for them in this one. Well, I'm sure you're right. He's just lost his discipline there. It's an uphill battle now. Ten minutes to go then. And take it away. Ndidi. Madison with it. Tete. Now still pressing for a goal here. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. A fine save. Well, there was the chance for the equaliser, but you have to say what a great save that was. Well, maybe a chance for them now to alleviate the pressure. Can he finish them off? Excellent save. Well, you're absolutely right. It's a top quality save, but they're running out of time here. And time for the change now. Who can they pick out? Well cleared away. Substitution for Brentford. Come out of the pitch. Number 27, Vitaly Jarrett. To the first goal. Number 10, Josh De Silva. Well, very effective play in possession. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away.
Well, wait, don't go anywhere. We're going to have five additional minutes. And great work to confuse the defender. And still they wait for the chance. Able to get a body in the way. And they know they need to stop him. But they dealt with the threat posed. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team and they deserve their victory. No two ways about it. He really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today.